Rapatata, a Shapadaya, La Cortibara, and Lamenecato. Can you call for the things which we not? As though they were La Tobada, Ratabadaya, Racota, a Shada, a Labada, a Badacubada, a Latabadaya, Racato, Labera, a Shapada, a Shapoco, a Rata di Baza, Latete, a Shapada, Late. Let your amen wreck the kingdom of darkness. Let your amen open every iron door. Let your amen bring a turn around. Let your amen rain down fire. Let your amen break up every fallow ground. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Somebody turn the fire. Can you shout fire? Can you scream fire? Can you raise your voice and shout fire? Can you turn the fire? You are going to declare against it today. Shout it today. Shout today. Forty days will not become forty years in my life. Somebody turn the I say no. 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 Let me hear you turn the fire. Turn the fire. Turn the fire, turn the fire, turn the fire. Somebody say today, my journey will no longer be prolonged. My journey will not be prolonged. Say today, endless wait, endless wait, endless wait. Fire, 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 fire. The children of Israel We are supposed to journey For 40 days It became 40 years Oh Shabbada Oh Yabaka Oh Labiada Oh Shabbada Some of them died Some of them died Not getting to their answers Oh Shabbada Oh Koto Oh Labiada Oh Shabbada Oh Yabada Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Oh Shabbada Oh Lekate Rabia, a Sabada, a Shaka, a Labeda, his Saka, a Sabada, a Lato, Rakopa, Rabiasa, a Tada, a Labia, a Sabada, a Kabada, a Sadi, a Saba, a Kado, Rakota, Rabiana, a Sadi, a Laba, a Kota, a Rabi, his Sada, a Laba, a Kota, a Rabi, a Saba, a Rabada, a Letter, Iraq. Asa, Asaba, Alabe, Arosa, let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise like fire. As your two hands are lifted, I announce 40 days will not become 40 years in your life. It will not become 40 years in your life. I break the weight. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. From waiting to answer. From waiting to answer. From waiting to answer. From waiting to answer. As your amen will turn, I announce it will happen in March. It will still 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 happen in March. Let your aim and thunder. 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 I don't know the family deliverance is coming to Abalasha. Akurasa. I see Akurada. Your father's house painted in black. Painted in black. In black, is I don't know the family. As your name will turn down, anybody that put an identity of darkness is Shabadaya Arabada in your family. The sound of your name, I command, let it break by fire, break right now, break right.
Rhino! Brick Rhino! Brick! 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 Let somebody turn the fire! 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 Let your amen turn the louder! Let your amen rise higher! Let your amen turn the Somebody turn the release by fire! Release by fire! Release! Shout release! Shout release! Shout release! Shout release! Shout now! 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 Before I make the prayer, I pray over your life. Hey, Kota! Anyone under the sound of my voice, as your amen will turn down, your bones shall not be broken in matter. Your blood will not be spilled on the road. Your blood will not be spilled on the road. Your bones shall not be broken. Your bones shall not be broken. Your bones shall not be broken. Your blood will not spill on the road. Let your amen turn down. Let your amen turn down. Let your amen turn down. I don't know who you are to say the Lord. I am making you relevant again. 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 A fresh mantle of relevance. A fresh mantle of relevance. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Arise and shine. 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 Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Why am I seeing light that is half current? As your amen will turn down, let the fullness of your life bust out. Let it 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 bust out. Let your amen turn down. Let your amen rise. Somebody turn the release by fire. Say any man, any woman, any institution holding what belongs to me say today release release by fire release it 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 open your mouth Shabada Abalada your mother needs this prayer your brother your son your daughter Akata for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood against principalities against power Ayata release it release it Abayasha is in your favor Abala release it Abayada is in your husband which power is holding your marital favor release it Ayabara Ashabara Alate Alabayada Ashabara Alabara when the thief is caught he will be made to restore Abalada, he will be made to restore a seven fold. Let it be released, let it be released. Ayabada, I caught a rat. Ishabada, all about you are in your rasa, you are in your rasa. Ayabada, Ashabada, Tobada, Racket, Ipalada, Atabada, Alabe, Ashabada, Atabada. Rabia, Rakata, Labia, Osabada, Rakata, Rapese, Akota, Araba, Arabade, Alabese, Akota, Lad your Amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn now. I announce, let it be released right now. Let it be released right now. Let it be released. Mark my word from now to the 12th of April. From now to the 12th of April, there will be miraculous release of release of Wabinos. Let it be released. Let it be released. Your marital favor, the new business, the new project, appointment letters, your new season. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. It is too hard for them to handle. They can no longer keep it. They can no longer keep it. Too hard for them to handle. Let fire locate it. Let fire locate it. Wherever it is, too hard for them to handle. They cannot keep it. They cannot keep it. They cannot keep it. They cannot keep it. Let it be 
released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let your joy be released. Let your favor be released. Let your new season be released. Let your finances be released. 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 Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Somebody turn the fire. Turn the fire. Turn the fire. Turn the fire. Somebody turn the I am in my answers. I am in my answers. Say all round. Say everywhere. Open up. Everywhere. Open up. If you can hear me, I want you to turn and face your back. Turn and face your back. As I thunder in the name of Jesus. We are doing something prophetic. Even if I am not seen, even if it is coming from my back, it shall be opened. It shall be Favors coming from the back. As you turn to your back, stretch forth your two hands towards your back. Stretch it. Stretch it. As I turn in the name of Jesus, I need you to scream from the bottom of your belly. It will not be blocked. It will not be blocked. If you are ready, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 let your amen turn the louder. I want you to turn to your right. As I turn in the name of Jesus, you are going to scream, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let the voice of the warrior rise in the name of Jesus. 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 I want you to face your front. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, I want you to turn this way if you are ready. In the name of Jesus, 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 let your amen turn the louder, let your amen rise, let your amen rise, let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Turn and face me. If you can touch the ground, get on your knees and touch the ground and declare after me. Say, Oh, it, 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 it. Hear me right now. Align, 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 align for my answer. Oh, it, oh, it. Oh, it, oh, it, as I lay my hands on you, we are river. My answers are deliver, 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 deliver by fire, by fire, by fire. Let your aim at thunder. Let your aim rise as your hands are on the ground. Hear me as I make these generational proclamations. As your aim will turn down. You see the earth that you're laying your hands on. Your will not be small upon the earth. Your career will not be small upon the earth. Your children will not be small upon the earth. Your business will not be small upon the earth. Let your aim turn down. Today I announce, oh head, open your mouth and swallow their stoppers. 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 Open your mouth and swallow. Open your mouth and swallow. 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 Oh head, open your mouth.
God and yield your increase. 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 Let your aim at thunder. Let your aim at thunder. Let your aim at thunder. As you rise on your feet, can you thunder? I am in my asses. 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 Let your aim at thunder. Let your aim at thunder. As your two hands are lifted, I am now, sir. You will be at the right place at the right time. You will carry your answers. New help us with your answers they are entering your life they are entering your life they are entering your life miracles are busting out on every side receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now what am i seeing in the spirit why are some people's hands closer why is your hand closer something has been given to you in the spirit but your hands are closer your hands are closer whatever this means whether it is a habit or oh, an attack that is closing your hands from receiving what has been released whatever that is closing your hands I command let it be broken right now let it be broken right now I announce your hands are open your hands are open your hands are open your hands are open receive it right now 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 let your aim at thunder let your aim at let your image on I command and decree that has surgery will not hold you will miraculously recover you will miraculously recover in 48 hours receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let your image on let your image on let your image on hormonal challenges have been reversed they have been reversed they have been reversed they have been reversed your second brother went mad uh, three days ago uh, as your amen was on uh, every arrow of insanity is broken right now he's broken right now he's broken right now he's broken right now i see the lord correcting every cross eye every cross eye every cross eye be reverse right now be reverse right now be reverse right now be reverse right now let your image thunder let your image thunder between the hours of 1 to 3 a.m last night you did not sleep you were asking god is this how my life will end you are tired of where you are in 12 days in 12 days the moment you spend crying shall become a moment of joy he shall become a moment of a turnaround receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now the special grace to reverse hypertension I command let every hypertension let it be reversed right now let it be reversed right now let it be reversed right now. The Lord said, I'm taking you to the big one. I'm taking you to the big one. I'm taking you to the big one. You have seen many favors. Abalashaya. In another 30 days, may the Lord plant your feet in the big one. Get ready for the big one. Enter. 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 Let your aim turn now. Let your aim and thunder. Let me hear you thunder fire. Can you scream fire? Whatever that is a bot in your life. There whatever that is a bot in your life. Blessed bot. Beautiful bot. Wealthy bot. Prayerful bot. A godly bot. Whatever that is a bot in your life. On the sound of your amen. I command, let his power be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let your image on. Your answers are here. Your answers are here. Oh, Balada. If your image was on that particular.
consistent pattern you are found in your life today is the last day to be in your life today is the last day to be in your life let your amen turn let your amen turn I announce you be remembered I announce you are your answers I announce you are unstoppable I announce no more limitation I announce you cannot be covered I announce you are rising higher and higher you have been remembered by the Lord your lines are fallen to you in place and places you have a goodly heritage receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now what has not happened before let it begin to happen in your life your 40 days will not become 40 years your 40 days will not become 40 years your 40 days will not become 40 years receive your answers receive your answers receive your answers somebody turn the fire turn the fire turn the fire turn the fire like you already know you have your answers can you lift up your voice in celebration of the victory of your answers raise your voice give the Lord a shout for Satan has fallen like a lightning give him a shout give him a shout give him a shout give him a shout and Joshua said to the people shout for the Lord has given us the land shout for the Lord has made a name for himself somebody shout don't stop shouting like you know this time around no power will stop what God is doing in your life shout 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 let your amen turn the louder Everybody lift up your two hands. I don't know why I'm releasing this judgment prayer, but as your amen will turn down, anybody that will come in the midst of your good news, I want to soil what the Lord is doing in your life. I want to soil the journey of grace the Lord is taking you through. I want to stand as an obstacle. Whether you are ready for this or not, but as your amen will turn down, the day will not be alive to tell the story. That day man is too weak. I said they will not be alive to tell the story. It is a righteous thing for the Lord to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. As your amen will turn down your again, they will not be alive to tell the story. Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. You may not understand what you're saying, but lift up your two hands and shout, My father, my father, avenge my mother. Avenge my matter speedily. Say, my father, my father, my father, avenge, avenge, avenge my matter speedily. You don't know what you just prayed right now. You have no idea what God is about to do. Shout it again. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, the host of heaven will not rest until my matter is avenged say my father arise arise in 35 days in 35 days avenge my matter avenge my matter avenge my matter sapphire 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 when he decided to avenge for the children of Israel, for the firstborn in Egypt, started dying like chickens. Get ready, Abalazada. Power has changed hands. Recordosa. Power has changed hands. Let the Lord avenge for you. Enough is enough. Let divine vengeance. Let it not spare anything. Let it not spare anyone. Let me hear you turn the fire. The fire. The fire. Sapphire, say I have uh, my answers. Uh, I have uh, my answers. Uh, let the believer turn the fire. Wherever you are, would you quickly open your Bibles? Open your Bibles to the book of Zechariah. We read the book of Zechariah, chapter 10. Zechariah, chapter 10. Hallelujah. And we'll start reading from verse 1. Zechariah chapter 10. And we'll start reading from verse 1. Amen. 
Oh, did I say we'll just start reading from verse 1? We will just read verse 1. Hallelujah. At a count of three, like a mass choir, we're going to read church together. One, two, three. Ask ye of the Lord, rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. Can I ask you that we read it one more time, a second time? One to go. Ask ye of the Lord, rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. For the very last time, can we read it together? Ask ye of the Lord, please, please hold on, hold on, hold on, please lift up your two hands. I don't know why I'm praying this. Karabasara, your appointment with good news shall no longer be cancelled. I don't know why I am declaring this, but hear me again. Your appointment with good news shall no longer be cancelled. Any power cancelling your good news in the realm of the spirit, any force cancelling your good news in the realm of the spirit, any handwriting cancelling your good news in the realm of the spirit, as your amen will turn that we cancel that power, we cancel that force, we cancel that principality. Let them go down for your sake, let them go down for your sake, let them go down for your sake, let somebody turn the fire. Zechariah chapter 10 from verse 1 let's read for the last time ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field our father we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us father we ask oh god let there be none of any man but all of you let a lover of the lord thunder a louder amen let your amen rise higher like you believe it would you take your seat in the presence of the Lord and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, say, our answers are already here. Oh, that neighbor is too weak in the spirit. Let him not be a weak link to what God is about to do in your life. Leave that neighbor again in the face of another and tell that one, say, neighbor, neighbor, say, our answers are already here. If you believe it, can you turn that in louder? Amen. People of God, only in one day, cervical cancer left. Who had the testimony today? Breast cancer left. Leukemia left one other cancer that I cannot remember left people of God Jesus rolled all of them away at the same time if your amen will thunder I announce carry your own answers right now carry your own answers right now carry your own answers right now let your amen thunder louder I don't know how many of you heard that testimony from that consultant a gynecologist obstetrician and she said while I laid my hands on my breast right there and then the mass began to shrink in her presence it was while the prayer was going on the mass began to shrink she did while you are shouting your amen let every challenge begin to melt let it begin to melt let it begin to melt the bible say while he was yet speaking the scriptures have been repeated in our presence it is not while i got home while i was still in church the lord turned it around let your amen turn the louder take your seat in the presence of the Lord people of God it becomes really important if you call will call what I am about to share with you postures for receiving your answers you might not be wrong if you call it perceptions of receiving your answers you are also not wrong if you want to call it the dynamics of receiving divine answers you are also not wrong as other if you want to call it spiritual intelligence on receiving your answers you are not wrong and people of God one verse but it embodies quite a number of things that God would want us to know people of God like you really know I've said that to you many times that answers in the realm of the spirit and in the kingdom we belong to they are not random and they cannot be sporadic if not everyone would have been getting it now people of God at the same time dimensions of answers also differ whereas there are people who will 
will get their home randomly uh, but there are those uh, who it appears uh, have more answers than they can even hold together and so what becomes important uh, is he listen let me tell you it is foolishness on your part uh, to see what is working and pretend like it's not working it is mediocrity and envy uh, for you to see a pattern of good works uh, in the life of someone uh, and you casualize it and say well maybe it's just because they are enjoying favor from God uh, calm down uh, calm down uh, and begin to ask questions uh, and say what are you doing uh, and so I, I believe uh, that uh, this is beyond just preaching a message uh, I'm going to be sharing my heart with you uh, on how men uh, will be properly positioned uh, and postured uh, to receive answers uh, uh, that will never be denied them uh, the Bible say ask you of the Lord uh, reign in the time of the latter reign uh, you will remember that I've often told you uh, that the former reign uh, is the reign uh, for planting how many of you remember that uh, the former reign is the reign for planting uh, there were just two major seasons uh, of rainfall uh, in uh, Israel and they called it the former reign and the latter reign uh, look at your neighbor tell your neighbor say the former reign uh, tell your neighbor again say latter reign uh, so in the former rain season when it rains the first time uh, it's an indication that you should start planting it's an indication you should start sowing and so people go ahead and start sowing uh, and they start planting and and they start you know i'm uh, in anticipation if you i mean i mean i know some of you didn't go to the farm but if you went to the farm like myself you understand that around us here there is also a season of rainfall that when it falls we know it is time to get to the farm am i correct uh, oh my goodness uh, the gen z's will not understand what we are talking about right now but then again if you if you uh, uh if you understand what i just said can you shout a louder amen some people didn't shout a lot of amen but look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor did you ever go to the farm <laughs> Uh, 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 don't worry don't worry don't worry don't worry let's so that they don't lie they don't don't lie because they think the pastor is favoring those that went to the farm so people of god apart from that first rain which is the former rain there is another rain called the latter rain people of god and so the latter rain comes after the former rain am i communicating but interestingly the bible seems to be saying something i find extremely intriguing he said when it gets to the latter rain season ask the lord for rain in other english people that it is latter rain season does not mean that rain will fall he says when you get to your latter rain season make sure you ask the lord for rain sir i am old enough to marry does not make marriage happen I am tired of my financial level. Cannot make you have more money. I need new helpers in my life. Will not make them appear. The Lord said, when you get to the latter rain season, don't start getting angry. Don't start getting frustrated. When you reach there, ask the Lord. I have reached my latter rain season. So I have a right to demand for rain if you understand it can you shall let it rain now you've been married for seven years eight years have you not reached your latter rain season lift up your right hand and turn and let it rain now shout it let it rain now let it rain now let it rain now let it rain be threatened by your planting season it is not a worry for the devil Keep praying for as long as you don't get the answer. So he doesn't threaten your former rain season. But the devil's head wants to scatter during the latter rain season. Am I communicating? The devil does not want you to arrive at your so sir. The Lord says, if you sense you have reached a latter rain season, Kebada, it is a warfare. Did you hear what I just said right now? Pastor, I've taken all the drugs I know how to take. Things are not working. I've abandoned whatever you're doing. Ask ye of the Lord rain. With a loud voice, thunder say, let it rain. Let it rain. I, I, 
L let me not be ahead of myself because honestly if you leave me right now i am tempted to ask us for us to call for the rain for the latter rain but 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 but, but let me say this before we continue you know the truth is if i have to get rain in the latter rain season i must be able to discern that i have entered my latter rain beyond the rain there is a behavior that governs a new season in the latter former rain we find the farmer with the seed bag especially in the oriental culture and like in the parable of the sower we find him dip his hand in his seed bag and he's scattering the seed am i communicating but then again in the um, latter rain this happens in the former rain season and that is a sowing season right now in the latter rain he doesn't just carry a seed bag because there's nothing to sow he gets ready his sickle in order to receive the harvest so the implement and the equipment changes from just carrying a seed bag to now carrying a sickle don't pray for the latter rain if you don't have the equipment to carry the harvest there are folks who are in their latter rain behaving like they are in their former rain the way you are spiritually lazy tells me you don't understand you have reached your latter rain is it until you look at the chronological calendar the way that you are unstable in the things of god tells me that you don't understand that you're already in your latter rain leave play for the boys leave play for the girls when they ask you what has informed your change of behavior tell them nah i am in my latter rain am i communicating there is a destiny he showed you this is the season for his manifestation and then you are still behaving like you are sowing. You are still behaving like a, a journey. Jo no, I didn't just come. Marie Badassa, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey from where I started with God. I will not come in my latter rain and be the one that the devil will use to do me. Am I communicating? So, sir, away from the latter rain, Lord, change my mindset change my behavior change the way I process things that I will understand if I blow it in the latter rain let me tell you I would have lost both my seed and my harvest so sir what it means in the next cycle of life I will not even have seed in order to anticipate a harvest let me tell you the emptiness of 2023 for some people will be but the seed and the harvest they lost in 2022 because there was nothing to sow anymore and there was no longer any harvest to anticipate am i communicating so sir you know what i can easily come and tell you now let us pray let the former rain let the let, let, let the latter rain let it fall let it fall call for the rain but then you are not ready you will still be acting like i'm in my former rain season you'll still be behaving hanging out with people who are just sowing you'll still be playing with people who are who don't have a perspective of what god listen i see greatness in front of you i see i see the crown i see the throne i see what god wants to make out of you don't stop don't behave like you are in your former rain season it's, it's either i get it or i get it look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor say neighbor my mindset is changing say i am in my latter rain season say no power no power will confuse me i say no power will distract me if you understand it thunder louder amen so i want to tell you you must be able to discern that seasons are changing you must be able to discern that seasons are changing and i want you to realize the lord said ask ye of the lord 
reign in the time of the latter rain please let me quickly say one major posture you must adopt to receive an answer is to sense when seasons have changed unfortunately seasons are constantly changing for some people but they don't know the season to be a global voice came and passed you did not realize the season to get into another breakthrough in your line of business came and passed you are still playing with the chickens trying to hold down 10,000 20,000 trying to hold down 100k 200k 300k too content in smallness who is clapping for you is not a sign of the greatness on your life fulfilling the agenda that God has for you is the description of what he has mandated you to be people of God discern when seasons change people of God I want you to understand that a season can change three times in one week but all you are still stuck on is where you were because you have no idea no sense and this is whatever that will make jesus cry now people of god there were not many times jesus cried i could let you know probably like two times or three times he cried one of those times he wept was in jerusalem he came there and said you do not know the time of your visitation you do not know the time of it you had no idea the things the things that could have happened the things that was meant for your greatness you had no idea of the time of your visitation Am I communicating? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor there's a behavior. That neighbor is a wrong neighbor. Leave that neighbor. Get in the face of another and tell them there's a behavior. For a latter rain season. Say it again. Say there is a behavior. For a latter rain season. If you understand it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Can you scream a better? Amen. So. And the Bible say, ask ye of the Lord, rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. Until I, there's something wrong with that scripture. Something absolutely wrong. When you ask the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain, the Lord shall make bright clouds. Something is wrong. With the simple geography. Abi, is it geography? Eh? It's geography, Abi. Eh? The simple geography that we all know. For it to rain, the clouds should not be bright. He says, The Lord will make bright clouds and give them showers of rain. In other English, if you are looking at the cloud to judge whether the rain is about to fall there will be no sign so there are folks who are every day monitoring your cloud they are looking at your cloud is it dark enough is it dark enough and no 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 it's not dark oh it's not dark, so it might not rain go and tell them my rain is coming it is not going to come according to what you know you will be looking at the cloud and you will be waiting for it to be dark all of a sudden all of a sudden all of a sudden it will begin to rain 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 as your amen will turn the let it rain in your life tonight somebody shall say my bright cloud say my bright cloud is sending down rain can i hear you shout yes say my bright cloud is sending down rain shout yes say my bright cloud is sending down rain shout yes take yourself for one second so people of god you know the reason why the clouds that are bright would bring down rain is because this rain i asked it of the lord 
So, if the rain came by natural cycle, then expect the clouds to be dark. But this type of rain is rain. I don't know how to speak, translate it in English. I'm just trying to trans, transliterate from whatever to this thing. This type of rain is the rain that they did. The rain that they made. You know, you know there are rain makers. Yes. So, as I am making my rain, the clouds will not be dark. Because there are some of you who are here saying, sir, I'm not seeing sign. I'm not, I'm not even seeing sign that it will work. Lord, I am not even seeing sign that my prayers are working. And the Lord say, you have no idea. Ashaba, you might not see the rain. You might not see the wind. But your valley shall be full of water. Somebody shall let it rain. 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 So I came to tell some people, if you ask the Lord for rain, and you can hear me now, don't look at the clouds. I'm talking to someone. If you forget everything I said here today, if you have asked the Lord for rain, I beg of you, don't look at the clouds. Because this is Zachariah. This is a continuous revelation. When the man of God was on Mount Carmel and he was praying for rain, he needed to send a servant. Go and check the cloud. But Zachariah said, Barasha, because after this incident, that was when Zachariah arose. And Zachariah said, if you ask the Lord for rain, he's going to bring bright clouds. Am I communicating? He's not going to bring dark clouds. So all those who are looking at the cloud, and then, has any man spoken to you yet? There are no dark clouds. Is there an investor yet? Has somebody has somebody come to invest one money and all? And you're going to tell them there's a way it rains around us. The clouds usually don't get dark. I just spoke about some people's story here. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's a way it's been raining over the years, and there's a way it rains around you. It usually doesn't gather cloud, but somebody will just walk into your life. With a mandate from God, and now Bessie Yaba Lekotore Shayada Lebe de Kotoya from now to the next two weeks, may this happen very fast. May this happen very fast. May this happen very fast. Let your aim and turn the louder. Let your aim and rise. Let your aim and rise. Let your aim and rise. Somebody turn the let it rain. 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 So, sir, I came to let you know that as for the rain, once you get to the latter rain, but let me remind you that anyone who is qualified to ask the Lord for rain in a latter rain season, it presupposes that he has gone through the first season and that is the sowing season. It presupposes that this guy has seen the first level rain. Let me tell you, there is no difference between the latter rain and the former rain. The only difference is the action. The only difference is the action. Let me say it again. There's no difference between the former rain. It's still rain. But it's just that in this rain, it is not a rain to carry harvest. It is a rain to put seed. There's some of you, your former rain season came and you thought it was harvest. You ate seed, you ate harvest, you ate everything, you collect, you collected everything, you swallowed. 
And God said, Kabadesa, these ones don't have sense. They, you thought what came was harvest. No, it was actually a seed sowing moment. Somebody randomly favored you. Did you not just hear the Lord say, ah, this is a, this is a seed season. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a say, God, <laughs> God, how much I pray that I've been looking for to ordinary 200k. And then this person came and gave him 300k. And the Lord says, it's a seed season. Remember, what qualifies you for a latter rain of harvest is that you experience a sowing season where you dropped your seed. It has rained, but it is not for my harvest. There are men you are celebrating their latter rain of harvest, but they need to sit you down and tell you the story of their former harvest, of their former rain of sowing. They sowed. That's not the first rain they saw. They saw the first rain, but they didn't pretend like they were in the harvest. That was the first rain that came. Pasha, they got their hands dirty. The first rain they went, they till the ground. You know how it is when we go to the farm and then you have to pluck this, they take out this, dig the, and all. Typically, when you are coming out, you look all dirty. People will not even want to shake it. But just give me some time. I came to let you know, do not just descend the season, descend your behavior. Did you hear what I just said? Discern your behavior. You will definitely get to that harvest season. You will, you will. But then again, what will qualify you for that is how you behaved here. There's a generation who never took note of their sowing season, but they are anxiously anticipating a harvest they did not sow for. How will it appear? People of God, sowing season whether it is sowing into the vineyard sowing into the work of god sowing into the lives of other people being kind not being envious and jealous whether it is just a, a, a season of coming and sharing the, but i mean i mean i know you're hurt but you're still sharing love it's a sowing season i know that everything is not complete in your life but yet you just want to make everybody smile you keep sowing love. You keep sowing laughter. You keep, you just took, took it upon yourself to care less about the way you feel and care more about the transition of others. Am I communicating? And this is what will qualify you for this new season. Am I communicating? A sowing season that laid the foundation for your harvest season. Am I communicating? As I tidy up tonight, the Bible says, and shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field. People of God, what comes from heaven must touch the earth for the earth to yield what it has. I wish I have the time to unbundle this. What comes from heaven must touch the earth for the earth to yield what it has but from something to come from heaven to touch the earth so that the earth can yield what it has a man must ask there are treasures here there are treasures here you see the city that you're living in there are treasures there are treasures but God is looking for a man whose voice can be recognized in heaven to draw down rain that will touch the ground so that this ground can yield to you what is already in it if I start talking about this it will take me another it will take me another 20 or 30 minutes some of you are marching on treasures that rain has not descended on. You are walking past it, living a normal life, and the Lord is saying, Kedosia, can the intercessor in you draw down rain? Sir, it 
comes to a point in every man's life you are tired of bringing out bucket for the rain another person commanded at some point you may need to understand that I need to ask rain if I bring the hand of God that rain will fall upon this ground it will yield something for me there's a yield for you but it's still on the ground it's buried in the ground all that God needed to do at creation was not the Bible said God commanded vegetation to come out of the ground it's already in the ground it's already in the ground but sir rain has to come let me tell someone tonight you can either decide to get ready for this you know it was in Joel chapter 2 as I tried to tidy up that the Lord began to speak about this particular season. The Bible says in Joel 2.23, it says, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. In other words, you can decide to have both your former rain and the latter rain at the same time. If you understand it, shall fire. If you understand it, can you shall fire? People of God, you might decide. I want you to know that Jewel chapter 2 was all about restoration. All that God was going to restore. All that God was going to restore. Jewel chapter 2 was all about. And any man who wants to walk in the spirit of restoration must understand beyond what God is about to pour out, you don't have time to misbehave between your former rain season and your life because all of them are supposed to happen in the same month. While you are thrilled at the blessing, be cautious at what is supposed to be your response so that you don't end up expecting a former rain and the latter rain in the first month but the man has no sickle to carry the harvest so there's got to be a smartness of dropping the seed back and picking up your sickle immediately because seasons are changing and i must also change don't anticipate a latter rain season with a former rain behavior can I say it one more time? Don't anticipate a latter rain season with a former rain behavior. Did I make sense? Rise on your feet wherever you are. And would you lift up your two hands before the Lord? And I decree over your life the answers you desire. At the sound of your amen, they are already with you. With your two hands lifted and with a loud voice, can you shout, say, let it rain. Can you scream it better, say, let it rain. As your amen will turn the high degree, carry your latter rain right now. Carry your latter rain right now. Carry your latter rain right now. I say, carry right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. I announce it is done. I announce it is done. Child, everyone lift up your two hands. Can I pray as your pastor? Anyone who is due for a latter rain here. But yet the enemy is mocking you. Anyone whose latter rain season has come but powers are making the word of God look like a mockery over your life in 13 days at the sound of your amen there might not be any dark cloud right now but as your amen will turn down I announce carry your harvest 
the louder your amen, the bigger your answer. Carry your answers. 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 Can you release yourself in loud amen? I announce it is done. If you have your communion, I pray over every liquid you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the blood of Jesus. And every substance you have, it ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the flesh of Jesus. And by this communion, I announce both the former rain and the latter rain. May you receive them all at the same time eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. I decree it is done. Let your amen thunder louder. Wherever you are, go ahead and quickly put together your offerings. Put together your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. For what our God cannot do, your offerings, your tithes, and streams of joy, part of the in-house protocol is for us to stand to give to God because we understand that we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So I'm going to request of you for you to rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithes and your partnership and raise it up before the Lord. Rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithes and your partnership and raise it before the God of all flesh in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Wave it. Let the blessings of those who have honored God today with their offerings, their tithes and their partnership be your portion nothing missing and nothing broken let your amen thunder louder once you give your offerings you might as well take your seat in the presence of the lord hallelujah and people of god let me quickly remind you that tomorrow on the altar of fire will be one of your best days can you celebrate the lord by putting your hands together for the lord that is not exciting enough celebrate the lord People of God, tomorrow on NSPPD shall be our covenant day of divine remembrance. Tomorrow is also the last day of the furnace of answers. Who has been having a great time this week? Somebody look at your neighbor just in a very fierce manner and shout, let the fire fall. And people of God, remember to write come with your evidence sheet do you remember the evidence sheet now this is you trying to typify how your miracle will look like evidence sheet i have my evidence how will your evidence look like write your evidence sheet write it on your evidence sheet and within the first 15 minutes of our prayer we're going to be lifting up our evidence sheet before god and don't forget that tomorrow is also Operation Family Breakthrough. Keep the pictures of your family members handy. We're going to give you an opportunity to do something which you're going to discover. And we're going to also be declaring Operation Let the Celebration Start. And uh, come with whatsoever that is a symbol, downloaded picture, a symbol of your celebration. The Spirit of God gave us a mandate to displace familiar spirits. It is one thing to break patterns and cycles. It's another thing to go to the cause of these patterns and cycles and that is a familiar spirit spirits that are familiar with you familiar with you familiar with your operations familiar with your family familiar with your family history familiar somebody help me shall fire and people of god tomorrow we are also going to be declaring oppression this identity must change now this identity must change now. And people of God, the Spirit of God said also there's going to be strong um, grace and strange grace for strange healing and deliverance. 
And we're also going to be praying for terminal diseases. We're going to be saying special prayers over children and projects. Any project you have for the year 2023 um, also come with it. And there'll be territorial um, keys released to people. And also, it's going to also be an impartation service for what our God cannot do does not exist. Somebody shall say, the Lord is shifting things in my favor. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, the Lord is shifting things in my favor. Now, can I give you 30 seconds? Tell your neighbor what the Lord is shifting in your favor. Just tell, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor what the Lord is shifting in your favor. Tell your neighbor what the Lord is shifting. Tell your neighbor what you are doing is highly prophetic. What you are doing is highly prophetic. What you are doing is highly prophetic. As you have declared, so shall it be unto you. And this is my way of reminding you that service on Sunday is the Lord is shifting things in my favor. And the theme of our service is the divine alignment. Divine alignment, the Lord is shifting things in my favor. Don't forget that it's also an anointing service. Hallelujah. Streams of Joy Abuja will be two. Will be two. Somebody help me shout two. Streams of Joy Abuja will be two. And uh, we are going to be celebrating on Sunday, the 16th of April, 2023. And our dress code will be extravagantly ethnic. Extravagantly ethnic. Please, for this ethnic um, attire, you are free to block the view of anyone behind you. It is not Oscar. So just go ahead and then block the view of everyone because it, it is called extravagantly ethnic. Am, am I communicating? Only the Gen Z's understood the part that I said. <laughs> For what God cannot do does not exist. So all dedications and thanksgiving has been scheduled for the second Sunday um, in the 9th of April. Please visit the inquiry desk so that you will be registered. Those who want to dedicate their children and their property as well. All the singles in church, remember Sunday is a date, right? And time once again is 6 p.m. Pick up testimony forms from the inquiry desk, fill and submit before next Sunday service so you'll be scheduled to testify in church on Sunday. Have you been blessed by God today? Can you rise on your feet wherever you are and lift up your two hands? May you move back to a waiting miracle. That latter rain, that latter rain, that latter rain, that latter rain. Let it fall in your family today. Let it meet you at your place of work tomorrow. May a phone call bring a latter rain. May an SMS bring a latter rain. It will be louder than you ever imagined. Carry your evidence right now. The behavior that will make you not to miss your latter rain, I decree, wear it right now as a garment. With your two hands lifted, can you scream, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Somebody shall say, I am in my latter rain season. Walk up to 14 people and scream in their ear, I am in my latter rain season.